something happened with their PPC spend that pretty significantly um, and 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 or the performance. Um, so um, they would be a potentially a really good prospect to call on. Uh One of the things that uh, we realize a lot of you guys are using some amazing tools to make your life easier with your pay-per-click campaigns. Also, those of you guys who run SEO, we wanted to show you uh, some of the cool stuff today that you guys can do with uh, SEM Rush in particular, because we think it's a pretty like valuable all-in-one tool and how to really get more revenue per client using it. I brought on my man, the Lane Train from Quantum Agency. Lane, say hello to our five. Hey, what's up, folks? How you doing? Um, so Lane, let's, uh, before, rather than like, let's talk too much about this, let's get into it. Let's, uh, we, we've done a little homework for you guys and shown like what you can kind of do on the PPC side to start with. Um, we just picked a random niche dentist. We got a dental search in Atlanta. You want to show folks the search we've got going here? Yep. So come on, get out of here. So, um, if we go, I gotta go back here too, because, um, there's a little break in Google search and the, the Chrome extension I'm using, but here we go. So we did dentists near Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Aspen Dental comes up. Um, Hello Tend, uh, Tend Dental Buckhead come up. They they're out, they're running ads both in the local pack and uh, uh, also in in search. So uh, yeah. So what we decided to do is let's just look at Hello Tend. Um, they may be a lead gen company. We weren't actually sure. We can use this same principle to look up anybody we want, but let's just say we wanted to potentially target Tend Dental for their PPC spend uh, as a prospect and see if we couldn't take over that account. So uh, we go into SCM Rush. This is a tool that we use in our white label agency, a quantum agency. Um, I use it primarily for a lot of research. My team uses it for research plus some uh, reporting and tracking on, on certain campaigns and things like that. Um, it has a pretty deep um, um, advertising analysis. So we can put in hellotend.com, which is the advertising domain, and just hit search. And uh, it immediately pulls up their authority score. This would be considered uh, to be potentially equivalent to the DA, DR score put out by Ahrefs and or Moz, depending on which one you're following there. But that's this is SCM Rush's own authority score. We can see an approximation of their organic search traffic, how much they're getting in paid search traffic, and then backlink profile as well. So from a paid search standpoint, we can just click on their paid search traffic, and that'll dive us into the advertising research tab over here in SCM Rush. And we can see they're bidding on about 22 keywords, 884 traffic visits from their, uh, their, SC, uh, their Google Ads campaign, how much they're approximately paying for that traffic, and then we can see their paid search positions down here. Um, and we can see a good overview of the different keywords that they're bidding on and that they're getting traffic from. So can I just add, Lane, like I wouldn't suggest you guys go out there and copy exactly what they're doing. But this is a hell of a starting place to know how much they're spending, which keywords they're bidding on. Like chances are if they're doing this and they've been doing it for a while, which, as you can see over the timeline, is it's probably working, right? Like they probably, uh, uh, I guess in this case, it's a relatively newer campaign, but like if you Still see- two years, almost two years. If they've been running it two years, they're probably not doing that because the campaign is not working. The opposite, uh, you know, this gives you like, you know, and you could do this for almost any industry. I know not all of you guys work with dentists, but you know, whatever your industry is, imagine fill in the blank is if you could find out which keywords are converting, what they're spending, what their ads they're running and all of those things before you even hit go. Yeah. I mean, especially if you're, if you're like, I, you know, I will put more time. I don't like to put time into it until I've got like a good warm, you know, lead on the line. Maybe it's a discovery meaning that they've actually booked um, how, wherever you're at in the prospecting process and wherever you want to put some time into it, this is uh, the tool to utilize, to leverage on your time, um, along with just Google, good old Google search, because nothing replaces really putting your eyeballs on some Google searches. But you can see here, actually, these guys might actually be a really good prospect, because you can see here in January, uh, you know, a little over a year ago, they, they were, they, their traffic was way higher and they've just fallen in, in terms of their paid search. So it's potentially that they they lost an agency relationship here. Maybe they fired 
somebody internally and didn't replace that person. But you can see how their their trend here has just fallen off a cliff in terms of their traffic from paid. So something happened with their PPC spend that pretty significantly um, and 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 or the performance. Um, so um, they would be a potentially a really good prospect to call on um, just from a PPC standpoint alone. And you can see that just by, you know, like literally looked it up and we can see just by switching the view to all time, we can see what happened to their traffic versus if we go to the last six months, oh, it doesn't look so bad here. Oh, it's actually kind of up. Uh, well, if we go back two years, you can see it's a whole different, you know, look, right? So uh, the other thing you can do is you can go to their ad copy here and we can see exactly, you know, maybe not to say exactly, but a good, a good um, vantage point of what the ads they're actually running and what the you know, the, the ad titles and the ad descriptions are and even where they're going to. So you can click here and go out to a new tab and see where their landing pages are look, look like as well and see, are there ways to even improve this? For sure, you know, this is pretty bad. Like this is, you know, if you're running, you're spending 25K a month in ad spend and you're running to this, um, the, you know, they got good call to actions here, but man, the design could easily be better for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, look forward to the dentist. That's probably... Not a super strong headline. Let's just say that. Yeah, exactly. Like no one's going to do that, right? And then, you know, you got some guy brushing his teeth, you know, whatever. Um, could be improved and you can see some weaknesses, obviously, or at least some trends. Um, and that's just, you could say, you can go here and you can do this for anybody. So if we want to look up, um, you know, let's do this. Best dentist in Buckhead. Come on, fingers. There we go. All right, so Better Dental, Hello Tend. That's not even local there. That's where I'm at. Boy, they're definitely spending some money. Let's see if we can go down here and get any sponsors that are local here. All right, Pure Dental Health. Let's just see. Okay, so they're there. So puredentalhealth.com. So I'll just come in here and I'll go to here. Just hit enter. Let's take out that and see if that helps. And uh, you can see that they don't got, have anything. So even though they're running ads, it's this is so this is indicative of a very new campaign that's just launched. Okay, and you can see they're also in the bottom. And so obviously, if I'm a PPC uh, agency, I can find, you know, like as an SEO, I find my clients on page two. Uh, if you're PPC, you find your clients down on the bottom, there's stuff down the bottom or on page two as well, because they're, something's wrong with their bidding strategy or their authority score or something, uh, their quality score, I'm sorry, or something along those lines, right? So uh, if, if SEM Rush doesn't have any data on them, then it's too new or they're spending so little that there's just not enough there on the bone to, for them to get. So, Hey, guys, if you like this video, you'll also like my book on Amazon called Beyond the Agency Box, which, can, which you can also find by my name, Frankie Finn. And it's got a lot of awesome reviews. And it really just goes deeper on a lot of things we're talking about, everything you need to grow and start a lifestyle agency from the stages you'll go through to getting clients to how to create winning offers to high value deliverables, to wowing clients, to building teams, to building systems, and building a boring factory that's like a seven figure money machine for you. So if you're interested, I put links for you in the video description as well as it'll be in the pinned top comment below and make sure to check those out.